Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskarov from Laravel Daily Team and Laravel Daily Video Channel. Today I want to talk about PHP versions and specifically the article that was published on Laravel News. Here you see it on my screen, Composer PHP versions in May. So as you can see on the chart, PHP 7 is like 55% of the internet currently and PHP 5 with all the minor version is like 45% which is good. Well, good and bad. I mean, uh, more than 50% so majority migrated to PHP 7, yay, uh, but still 45% of, uh, of PHP are versions 5. So the question is, uh, why should you migrate and should you migrate at all? Like, for example, for your personal projects, for your clients' projects, and for your packages, if you create packages. These are quite different scenarios and different topics. Uh, but um, I will just give you some um, some thoughts, some links, and what people say around in PHP community and why you should migrate, and maybe how you do it. So, um, first things first, uh, PHP 5 is no longer actively supported. Here's an article from Laravel News dated in January this year, so January uh, was the time when PHP 5 became no longer actively supported except for security fixes. So that's reason number one to upgrade and to um, convince your clients to upgrade. Because actually the number one reason for not upgrading is just, um, uh, well, it, there are two cases. So, I mean, people cannot upgrade because uh, the project, for example, lies on client server uh, they don't have access to upgrade or don't have budget to upgrade because to upgrade it takes time, right? So you have to convince your client to spend uh, some money or your time uh, to upgrade to PHP version, which is not uh, visually uh, appealing. So there's no there's no much uh, to show to clients. So why should they do that? Except for the speed, that should be your number one uh, argument. So PHP five and PHP. 7 is really different in terms of speed. Just uh, just by upgrading PHP version you will gain like 30 to 50 percent speed just because of that. Uh, reason number two is PHP is no longer actively supported. Uh, well that's that's reason number two for the clients and then there are more steps in PHP community that um, give, give you more and more reasons to upgrade or in fact uh, more and more reasons not to not to delay upgrading. Other example, uh, article from last year to be honest, it's December on uh, Mursa.be by Freck van der Herten from Spati. Two examples, Symfony and Laravel will both require PHP 7 in their next versions. Laravel 5.5 will be out in July or in summer and then Symfony 4 will be in fall of 2017 and they both will require PHP 7. Uh, which means that to use, um, to use the latest versions of, of the framework you will have to have PHP 7. So isn't that the reason? Then another take from the same Freck van der Herten. Uh, in Spati they created a lot of packages for Laravel specifically and not only for Laravel. And they are actively pushing the message that they require PHP 7. And that's the article from them actually more than a year ago. Uh, by the way, PHP 7 was out in 2015, so like a lot of time ago already. So um, post from January to 2016 that uh, about, about the thing that they require PHP 7 and why they're doing that. Basically, they're creating the packages for their own company and for the clients, <clears throat> and they're reusing packages. So, for example, if, if in one project they need certain functionality, they form that as a package, uh, and that might be reusable for the future projects. So, for the future projects, there probably will be like server upgrades and new versions, and they, there will be PHP 7. So they're kind of, they're working for themselves, they're, they're doing the job for themselves. So by requiring PHP 7, they're pushing the community to, to use that, but also they're doing the job for themselves, for the future selves, basically. So that logic could, could be applied to you as well. So if you always upgrade to the latest PHP version, you can use all the, all the major new things uh, just with... Uh, 
just by upgrading. Um, that's actually a downside too, because uh, if you if you are in PHP 7, uh, that's not actually the case. The frameworks are more the case. Well, my point is uh, sometimes packages don't really uh, don't really upgrade for a long time. So, for example, if you have a package which was created for Laravel 5.3 and 5.2 or like earlier versions, and you want to use it for the latest framework version 5.4 or 5.5 which will require PHP 7 you might lose some packages which are not upgraded but to be honest you will lose them anyway if they are not upgraded for a year or two I wouldn't even recommend using them so the point here is um, uh, Spotty as a company they create packages and they're pushing community towards always upgrading always have the latest version and uh, not have problems with legacy code. And then uh, how to upgrade. So for example, okay, I'm convinced I'm on PHP 5 now and I should require PHP 7 for clients projects or for my own projects. Uh, doesn't really matter how to upgrade it. There are tons of tutorials and uh, it depends actually on your server environment, both on, on, on the client uh, like hosting or your local environment, whether you use Homestead or MAMP or Laravel Valet or whatever you use, you should Google uh, the, the, the article for your uh, particular package and your particular environment. Some examples here I found online, it's how to upgrade to PHP 7 on Ubuntu by DigitalOcean. So basically you install PHP, you do some changes in configuration in Nginx, uh, you change some variables, you restart Nginx, and, and almost you're done. It's not that difficult, to be honest. Of course, you might bump into some problems here and there, but it's not uh, that like rocket science. Uh, and another, another thing, for example, some packages will actually already have PHP 7. So an article from 2016, summer, uh, where Homestead actually started supporting PHP 7 out of the box. So if you just upgrade Homestead, you will have PHP 7 locally. Um, if you have uh, clients with shared hosting, which I don't recommend, by the way, but if you do, then uh, shared hosting provider should have that um, like checkbox or drop down to choose PHP versions. If they are, well, if they progress with the world, they should have PHP 7 installed on their shared environment. And all you need to do basically is just change the drop-down which PHP version to use. So all in all, I do recommend upgrading. Uh, within our Laravel daily team, it, it depends on the project. Some projects uh, stay with PHP 5 uh, as, as long as they're okay and not really uh, upgraded. But as soon as new functionality comes in, so for example, if we want to use um, awesome packages by Spati like Media Library or Laravel Analytics or some others, they all require PHP 7 and if we don't upgrade, we basically need to code something by hand or use other packages which are not that good maybe. Uh, so it's easier actually to upgrade to PHP 7 and then use uh, already made packages than to, to stay in, uh, in the PHP 5 world. Uh, that's it, I guess. Do you agree with me? Disagree? Have you upgraded? Uh, do, do you have people that are not upgrading for, for some reasons and what are the reasons? Maybe let's discuss. And let's discuss how can we make the whole community to upgrade faster to just uh, for, for PHP 7 to, to be a standard and uh, we wouldn't have problems with PHP 5 anymore. Uh, that's it, I guess. Visit our sponsor, as usual, the link below, quickadminpanel.com, the, the Laravel Admin Panel gener Generator by our Laravel Daily team. And see you in the next video of Laravel Daily Channel.